Hi, I'm Eve Ensler, and I'm very happy to talk to you about my new book, In the Body of the World, which is a memoir. It's a book that feels like it came straight from the center of my body. In the months after a very serious bout with cancer and cancer treatments, the book passed through me like a fever. And I think the book is really about um, my own attempt, and hopefully a universal attempt, to return to my body and to the body of the world and the body of the earth. I was separated from my body as a child because of the violence um, my father perpetrated on me and this, both the sexual and physical violence that forced me to leave myself because it was too dangerous and painful to live in my body. And I think for many years after, I sought a way back in. I found various forms, most of with which were highly unsuccessful, whether they were promiscuity or anorexia or performance art. Eventually, I started to talk to other women about their bodies to see what it was like for them. And that led me to talk to women about vaginas, which led me to write the vagina monologues. And after I performed the play, and while I was performing the play, many women would come up to me to tell me the stories of their bodies, how they too had left their bodies because of various forms of violence they had suffered. This led me around the world where I began to discover the many forms of violence, whether it was acid burnings or female genital mutilation or gang rapes or um, mass rapes or beatings or um, the, the in multitudes of uh, forms of violence that you know, are massive across the planet. And all of this eventually led me to the Congo, the Democratic Republic of Congo, where I discovered and heard the stories of some of the worst violence and atrocities on the planet today, where violence towards women was being used and continues to be used as a tactic of war, a war being waged on a country for the minerals, the gold, the coltan, the copper that we use in this country in our products, waged by the multinationals in the West. And the way that war is fought is by going into villages and raping women and girls in those villages and destroying families and destroying tribes and destroying villages, which then flee. And then the militias come in and they take over and they take the mines and they take over the resources that belong to the indigenous Congolese. It was in the Congo that something in me shattered. And I think I had gone to the point where I realized that if we continued with this level of violence, with this madness of violence, we would really be destroyed as a humanity. It was right after the Congo and during my time in the Congo when I was diagnosed with uterine cancer. And this diagnosis came out of the blue and was a terrible shock. But what it did was it landed me in my body. Suddenly I was only body. I was pricked, I was ported, I was chemoed, I was drugged. And I was literally forced back into my body. The process of cancer was arduous and painful and terrifying, but it was also incredibly liberating and transformative. I was deeply fortunate to have incredible friends who took care of me and family, and to have the resources to have doctors and nurses and healthcare through insurance. But what I also had was mentors and visionaries who led the way and helped me use cancer and see cancer as a tool that could bring me back into my body, where I could become embodied again and where my body stopped being a bad place but became my home. And I hope this book does the same for people. I hope it is a journey that returns people to their body because as Philip Shepard says at the beginning of my book in an epigram, when we are connected with our body, we are connected to the body of the world. And we understand it's a continuum. And I think the most important thing we can know now or, or the way we can be in the world is to understand that our connection to the body, it will reveal the path of action to heal the earth, to heal poverty, to heal the desecration of the planet, and to end violence. So I hope this book is a journey of embodiment and a journey of return, and a journey for particularly those who have cancer or have had cancer of cleansing and healing and transformation.